to you all and a big thank you for joining us all on this great occasion. As the oldest member of this illustrious family, I have taken it upon myself to pay tribute to our parents, May and Gerald Jacob. They lived at Othersort Grange for almost 25 years and ran the medical practice from there which at one time, during the last war, involved that work working in 14 different villages. They had many ups and downs during their years together, but for the most part, we, their children, enjoyed a wonderful, happy life there. Thomas Lord Bridge. May and Gerald were a remarkable couple. Their hospitality knew no bounds, their love for their children was unconditional and ongoing. Their characters were quite extraordinary, but most of all, their lives as Catholic stroke Christians were a wonderful example to us all. They were married in Lincoln in 1929, mother's hometown, and started life together in a house, come practice, in Bow Road in the east end of London. Where the first four was born. After that, we spent four years in Sandy, Bedfordshire, and welcomed John Vincent Vincent Pope. And in 1938, moved to Ullersort and were eventually joined by Theresa, Winifred, and Stephen. In spite of having such a large family, Mother managed in her kind and gentle way to make each one of us feel special and sport. Dad was somewhat different, both loving but remote. He used to say that he only ever wanted two children, but the good Lord saw fit to send him eight. In fact, uh, after the children, there the fact that after the eight of us, there are 36 grandchildren, and Jane from Dublin is the 67th born in the next line. Our parents left a wonderful legacy of affection and peace, which we all try to emulate. And I am most grateful for the very special home they always maintained and for the tremendous welcome given to all who passed by. And I'm not exaggerating, they were wonderful people. We can't ask for any more coming. As you all know, we are celebrating three great occasions. The 50th wedding anniversary of Josephine and Richard Syrett, who are not able to be here. Winnie's 70th birthday and my 80th. Our grateful thanks are due to Heather for the truly magnificent cake she has made to commemorate all three wonderful occasions.
when we were younger, all the time. And she used to beat me at tennis and I used to swear and shout. But underneath all that, she was wonderful. And uh, it's such a, so sorry that she can't be here. Well, that's what I was saying, really. I'm not allowed to say any filthy jokes. <laughs> Thank you for having me.